The OJ game is a particular exercise where they form teams of five or six students to run an orange juice products enterprise. Uh, this is where they have to decide how to buy orange juice futures, they do contracts, they do shipping, they have to locate manufacturing and storage facilities, they have to try to understand the market, uh, they have to learn how people respond to prices. We do simulate things like outages due to storms. Uh, from time to time, and we see this regularly in the news. A cold front will hit Florida, and the price, prices will spike. But the game allows people to learn to not only solve difficult analytic problems, but to also do so in teams. There's an extensive evaluation process. Students write evaluations of each other. They're told how to write evaluations. There's even an analytic write-up, where they have to do the mathematics of what they're doing. But at the end of the day, it really boils down to how well they work together and how well the team leads can get the most out of the talent on their team. We have different people that are in communication with them. Uh, we have uh, three graduate students uh, who are in regular communication on Skype, basically letting them know when they should submit things, checking up on what's going on. We have a person that troubleshoots things, and this all goes on through Skype. We have a few uh, different programs that we run to analyze the results and then fill out part of the sheet and then we look through that make our own human judgments make some changes and then quickly fill out the sheet as fast as we can and we just have 10 minutes to do that. We are usually waiting on the industry reports to be uploaded by Professor Simeo and that gives us a sense but it's a few years kind of after the fact so we don't really know how everyone else is doing until um, at least a couple of runs in the future. We kind of had trouble in the first run um, so we've been trying to get back to profits since then. We're constantly watching how the other teams are doing. This is definitely a very competitive game. At the end of the game, the team who's earned the most profit over the course all right, of all the years is the winning team. Round of applause. You guys did a great job. You cannot win this game by luck. You have to do analysis. It's careful planning and execution that wins this game. It was great to win this and I, I just feel like our, our, all of our efforts have been rewarded because we've been working for now two or three months on this game and um, spent some late nights and it's great just to see, uh, see that we were able to come on top.